Welcome to the Back of the Net Match Day Vlog. We're here, it's a brand new season and a brand new era. How are Bournemouth gonna do against West Ham? We cannot wait to get back to Dean Court, which is from where we are, about 20 minutes that way. But you may have recognised from the opening sequence that at the moment we're at the Brunswick. We can have some lunch, we can have some food. So let's get in there, chat to a few Bournemouth fans and let's look forward to the game. Come on. Look who I found. Hello mate, you alright? Yeah, you? Love the shirt mate. Thank you. Beautiful. I, don't, I can't believe I gave that a 5 out of 10 in the kit show. I did, I did say at the time, it was absolutely disgrace and I'm sticking to that. It's a beautiful shirt mate. I've seen more people in this than in the red and black. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. You Hello. all right? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good. Sat here after our lovely lunch. Did you enjoy your lunch, Tiggs? I did. I had like a kebab thing. I saw you having it last season. Mm. I thought I fancy a bit of that. Last season? Last season. I now know. It's it. a whole new season. New season, new era, yeah. new excitement. Caution? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's really interesting. I, I know you've sort of got a have a little bit of patience with these things. And Ariola, I, I did, uh, you promoted actually the, um, the official podcast. Yeah, I did. I was yeah. listening to that this morning, and he was saying, "Look, wait until all the transfer windows closed, and then you will see what he wants us to see." And now there's gonna, it's, some things are gonna work, some things are not gonna work. They're gonna try their very best, but just give him, give him that time to get that window closed, and that's when you'll start seeing the real Ariola ball. Ariola ball. <laughs> I've done it now. <laughs> Iriola. Iriola. Not Ariola, because we know what that is. Excited about the new season, mate? Yeah. Yeah, I am excited. I think. Um, is there a trepidation, though, for you? Uh, I don't know. It's a bit unknown, but I think what I will say is I think we're always going to be a sort of team that's going to be looking over our shoulder, but we're, it's going to be better to watch. And since Eddie, I don't think it's been great to watch. So I'm looking forward to that, and I do think we've got enough to be absolutely fine. But obviously, as I say, the proof will be in the pudding. Um, we'll see, but it's not going to be an ideal start of the season. We've got a few knocks, a few bumps and bruises, as we know. So it might be a difficult start, and there might be a bit of a, let's say some of the cliches, a bit of a process, a bit of a project, I mean, fine margins, <laughs> until we get going. But um, I, th I think we'll have more than enough, and it's a good opening fixture, mate. West Ham at home without their signings, so happy days. How are you doing, Leanne? You alright? Feeling a lot more positive than I was when I came on last time at the Villa game and I was a bit moody. Look, let's talk about Bournemouth because it is an exciting time for us. There are some pundits like Gary Neville that have said, quite lazily in my opinion, Bournemouth are going to get relegated. How do you feel as though we're going to do this season? Do you think we, could, we can maybe surprise a few teams? Yeah, I think we are going to this season. I think it's just boring, isn't it? Like, oh, Bournemouth's going to get relegated. They all just have us down at the start of the season and yeah I think it's a bit like you say lazy did you say lazy yeah lazy you what you um what's your prediction for today then yeah I can't call it I think it's going to be maybe a win it's the return of Richard Jackson Richard how are you you're right I'm really wonderful Sam thank you seeing more people wearing this strip as Tom said earlier than home kits today that's how that's how much it's loved you a big fan oh definitely yeah, this is the best of the three kits definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. not why, like that blue one that's certainly why did I like, say yeah. the away kit was but I don't know. Um, how are you feeling ahead of this brand new era excited I am excited but I'm cautiously optimistic because so much has changed, so much has happened, there's still injuries that we've got to cope with at the start of the season, so it's sort of stepping into the unknown a bit really, we don't quite know what we're going to get, we don't know quite how we're going to perform and I think probably we'll start slowly with the fixtures we've got and everyone bedding in and his ideas bedding in and everything, but hopefully come October we'll start to see the real team that he wants to put out on the pitch and the real style of football that we want to play. Corbin. 
Right, after last week's game, I certainly was predicting four to Bournemouth, no to North West Ham. Four nil. Yeah. Off his head. How many? How many percent beers have you had, mate? One. Right, two o'clock. T- t- Tom, have you moved? Have you moved? Oh, I have actually. <laughs> yeah, I've come back out of bit of sunshine. Um, team news out. Tom, tell me what's going on for Bournemouth. Come on. Some positives and some negatives. The negatives uh, we'll start with is that Watara and Lewis Cook are not available. They're both injured. So um, net is in goal. But Max Aaron starts at right back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Zabani, Senesi, centre halves. Kirk has left back. Looks like Joe Rothwell is going to be a defensive midfield player. Uh, probably next to Phil Billing. Ryan Christie in front. With David Brooks on the right. Jaden Anthony on the left. And Dom Salanke up front. Oh, Exciting. Okay. But you've, you look at the subs bench and you go, we need some, we need some players back. Because you've got people, no disrespect, people like James Hill, Ben Greenwood on yeah. the bench today. So, um, But yeah, I'm happy to see Aaron start. Because otherwise we would have been a bit disjointed. But um, God. Yeah. And that from, from their perspective, I think from the team I predicted, they've actually gone with the other goalkeeper. Areola is started over Fabianski and Paqueta is playing instead of Downs so um, I was close on that very close yeah goalkeeper change but um, yeah I'm still confident go on what's your prediction mate I'm sticking with 3-2 Bournemouth mate sticking with 3-2 Bournemouth I think Brooksy is going to have one today I think he's going to get a brace I think he's going to get a brace today yeah right pub done and now I've got to follow these two reprobates We are walking down the hallowed road that leads us to Vitality Stadium. You just checking Twitter, weren't you? And you saw an interesting tweet from Jack Tanner about how we're lining up defensively, mate. Well, he just said that the drills normally, like you see that back four, like kind of drilling before the game, that he's only got Celestia and Zabardi out there, Elphick, doing it. <laughs> so I think uh, Andoni's probably said to the fullbacks, you don't worry about the defense, you get on. Tell you what, chaos, mate. Rock and roll football. Chaos football. <laughs> Tell you what, cues for the North Stand. Look at this. It's ten to three. Got to get all these people in. It's not going to happen, is it? Right, that's the spot where we do the fan cams. If you ever are afraid of coming on, all it is is me and Tig. Just stood there, look for the big rock, and after every game, yeah, you can have your say. Right, we're going in in a sec. Wait there one minute though. Right, before the game begins, we're going to be telling you a little bit about NordVPN, who are backing back of the net, just like we're going to be backing the boys against West Ham United this afternoon. Come on, you Reds. So, it's a VPN. Do you know what that is? Have you used one before? Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. It's simply a download for your laptop, your computer, your MacBook, your mobile. And by having it installed, you get increased privacy, malware protection, plus the ability to choose your virtual location. For instance, were you one of the Bournemouth fans that went abroad to watch our pre-season friendlies in Marbella? When you were over there, you probably found out you couldn't use BBC iPlay, couldn't use ITVX, all four, in fact, any services that restrict by location. With NordVPN, not a problem. Just go through the list, select the country where you want to virtually be, click connect, and Bob's your uncle. You're already there and you can watch the services just like you would at home. Similarly, if you're in the UK and you want to access content libraries that are in other countries, including the expanded titles that you see on Netflix, for instance, you can use NordVPN to do just that as well. As mentioned, it includes threat protection shields, which protects you from malware, trackers and ads. No one wants that. Plus, it's built around privacy as well with robust encryption of your online activities. With Back of the Net, you can get an exclusive NordVPN deal below. Just go to nordvpn.com forward slash AFCB. It's risk free and there's a 30 day money back guarantee. Check it out. It's good to be back. Let's get in there, Tiggs. Come on. We're in the main stand today. I spy the moment like so we're beginning with P B.
hell of a view through the dugout. Look at that. And we see the Iriolo. Tiggs, what's he wearing today? Well, I mean, there's been a lot of questions about his uh, about his playing style. But actually, let's look at his fashion style. He's wearing some nice, uh, look like color, maybe navy blue chinos. A uh, nice pair of kind of smart trainer style shoes. I like them. I like them a lot. There's Europa Conference League winning David Moyes there making notes but on his dinosaur pad. Oh. First shot, first shot, went wide of the target, Brooksy. Good take, bro. Uh oh. Oh my god. Should have cleared. I don't know how that didn't go in. How did that how did that go in? Oh my god. Get away with this mate, we are getting away with it. That was close. We got a corner. Come on, boys. Possibly the last corner of the half. We're on about, what, 43 minutes? But Tom's five minutes into his pint at the moment. It's gone short. It's gone short. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Too cute. Very cute. Too cute. It's a shame. Shame. Towards the end of the half, you just wanted to whip it in, but. He's let me borrow it. I'm here with a familiar face, Daniel from Florida. Mate, how are you? You're over here. How long have you been over? I've been here since my summer break started. So I've been here for like a month now, two months. And you're going home tomorrow, is that right? Yeah, tomorrow morning. So just got to catch uh, the West Ham game. What do you think of the first half? I think we, we're pretty decent, you know. But I also feel like the ref's decisions have been a little bit, you know, like questionable. But I still think under this new era, we're doing really well so far. And I'm being impressed with our midfield. I, was, I thought our midfield was going to be a little bit like worrying compared to their midfield. Yeah. But our midfield has been really, really good. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, mate, what's your prediction going to be? Come on, are we going to get the W? Honestly, before the game, I honestly thought 1-1. But the way it's looking, it could go really either way or, or a draw. But I'm sticking with 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yeah. Oh, what an effort! What an effort from wow. David Brook. He caught that so well. He caught that sweetly on the best bit, the instep of the left foot. I think he was going to rattle in the bar or just going to cross yeah. bar and in. He don't swear. Yeah. Keeper needed to go, didn't he? Keeper oh, needed to move. I'll tell you what, some of Dipping. Tell you what, Tom tipped David Brooks to have a good game today. He, he tipped him to get on the score sheet as well. Wasn't far away there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god, what a goal! What a goal! What a good goal. Celebrations from the bench. He was always going to be their main threat. Cutting on his left. What a strike. Neto didn't have a chance. Jared Bowen, mate. What a goal. Incredible. But you can't do much about that. And you find that space. Felt like he had ages, didn't it? To hit it as well, didn't it? It's been a bit of a lackluster. I mean, apart from David Brooks' effort, I don't know, like, as a whole, I'm saying this after they've just scored, obviously, but just felt as though we haven't maybe given up attacking wise which is our, our identity our thing right yeah agreed um we've got we've got time to turn to it oh my god that came off kirkes that all came from Sinesi just being a little bit lax on the ball there's the goal scorer Last instant, Sinesi looks like he's picked up a, a bit of a knock that's prevented him carrying on. Chris Mappen's going to replace him, but there he goes, looking forlorn. Go on, go on, go on, shot! Yes, sir! Oh, off the top of the bar! Oh, Rockwell off the top of the bar! Tempo definitely feels better now, doesn't it? It Tempo's does. Tempo's better. But it does. And the urgency as well, which we just didn't have in the first half. I mean, we sense that we're better when we were urgent, which is kind of 
But it must be hard to instill that urgency when it's nil-nil. Yeah, I think that's a hangover from last year. We, we always found that, didn't we? We didn't sort of kick into the game until we were a goal down sometimes. Phil Bill flip. Oh, I tell you what. Semenye's coming on. No. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Solanke was cool. Life for the veins today. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Out, 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 out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my God. What happened? What happened there? So going straight back to it. Any ideas? I have no idea what happened And everyone kind of froze as well. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were waiting for something. <laughs> You can't, you can't do that. No. He would, he, he would be flying, and I'm telling you, Tom Rattick will scream. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, clear goal scoring opportunity there. <laughs> David Moyes is shitting his pants. There's two managers here with very different body language. One of them's almost content for the draw. But Iriola, he's pacing about. He wants the W. He really does. Can we get it? We've really got about two minutes left. Full time then. One apiece. All right. So, fan cams, done. How did I get on? I felt Mate, rusty. 34 minutes. 34 minutes, that's 34 too long. minutes, I'm just it's improved my performance. putting it together now. Tell you what, this takes time and takes trouble. So, um, Kofi, if you want no. to, um, we'll put the links to support us at the end if you want to. Um, it was all right today, wasn't it? I'm happy, look, yeah. there's, there's three ways you can start a season. Okay, there's one really good one, there's one really bad one, and then there's this, this you know, yeah. and I'll, I'll take it, I'll take yeah. it. Yeah, and look, we've got um, new players playing a new system, whereas most of most of West Ham's uh, team, I think, were pretty much in their starting eleven this time, like three, four months ago. Yeah. And they know how to play the system, they know how to play the David Moyes way, and they were just doing it again. We're doing something different, so yeah, to come new. away with it unscathed so to speak with a draw I'll take it and and being 1-0 down yeah 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 come on so yeah nice to see nice to see here we are outside the Ted Mac stand and, and if, now, you look, if you look to our right now you'll see in a couple of weeks where we'll be potentially having a, having a beer maybe. so is this yeah this so this is, is where this kind of marquee thing. thing's going to be yeah. it doesn't look very wide does it but We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it's going to go. I think but it is, Sam. It's what you do with it. it. Yeah, exactly. It's what you do with it. And back home. Good day. Good day. Good to have the football back. One all against West Ham. And it was probably about fair, I would say. It's funny. Um, when, <laughs> before the game started, I thought, there's a piece on the back of the net website which um, from Keith Thomas, which suggested that there's this kind of um there's an excited expectation amid Bournemouth fans but there's this dichotomy with having that versus the self-administered reality check that we as Bournemouth fans we often like to do we don't want to get ahead of ourselves and I think I felt a bit disappointed at full time so maybe I am getting ahead of myself but Rome wasn't built in a day and Iriola's football in the second half especially was was pretty exciting to watch. First half was just drab all over, I think, so let's just forget that. But sloppy at times. Rothwell gave it away for Jared Bowen's opener. He made up for it, though, with a with a really good performance. There were some rogue, 
Rogue shouts there. Some menu coming on. Like, wow, he he did all right, didn't he? And there were other players that I think deserve um, uh, a bit of a mention. We'll dissect it on the second look. But Dom Solanke popped up when it was needed and uh, netted. And if if the game went on another five minutes, I think we probably could have snuck a winner. But you know what? I'm I'm okay with that. But obviously, with the games we've got coming up, you're looking back thinking maybe three points would have been useful in that game because yeah there are some tough tough games ahead but look we know this is the cutthroat nature of the Premier League we're in it once again Bournemouth start off the season unbeaten if you're new to the channel make sure you press that little subscribe button we would truly appreciate it and a like massively helps as well we go to every game we'll be vlogging every game and we'll be dissecting every game so if you want more content like this you know what to do. Make sure you check out NordVPN at the link below. But until the next one, fuck the chair.